Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So as you might be able to tell by the title, today I am filming a spring styling video. Um, we are midway through March now, so literally on the cusp of spring, even though the weather is saying otherwise. Um, but I'm hoping that the spring weather is going to come very soon. So I thought in anticipation for that, it would be a good time to film a video showing you some outfits that are going to work for early spring. Um, they're mostly going to be like go-to everyday outfits um, but then there are some like date night and slightly dressier looks thrown in like the one I am wearing now. Um, pretty much all the pieces are new season, lots of them I showed you in my haul last week and then I am filming another haul probably next week. Um, so there are some pieces from that too. Um, but to be honest, because these outfits are mostly like go-to everyday looks, you should be able to recreate most of them with pieces already in your wardrobe. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start off with what I am wearing now, which is one of the slightly dressier looks. Um, this shirt is a new addition to my wardrobe. It's from Totem and I got it via Farfetch, who I am very excited to be working with on this part of today's video. Um, I do have a 10% discount code, which is 10LilyFF. I will pop it across the screen and leave all the details in the description box. Uh, but you can use that for 10% off across loads of brands and items. And as you probably know, Farfetch stock a lot of brands. So if you are looking to add any new pieces to your wardrobe for spring, then definitely take advantage of the code. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this piece is from Totem. Um, it's been on my wish list for a very, very long time now. Um, Totem is definitely one of my favorite designer brands. Um, this is like a monogram print shirt. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's got this like embroidered detail across the entire thing, which is essentially the Totem logo. Um, but that's one of the reasons I love Totem so much. To me, it's like one of those if you know, you know type of pieces. Um, and otherwise it just looks like an abstract print, which I love. Um, it is 100% silk, so gorgeous quality. Um, and I love this shape of shirt as well. It's kind of like a pajama style. Um, and then it's got the wider sleeves, which I just think add a little bit of interest. Um, I've styled it with these Abercrombie jeans, which I showed you in my last haul. Um, but they do actually do matching shorts and trousers to the shirt. Um, and I think I'm definitely going to have to treat myself to the shorts because I think for like summer when you're on holiday um, matching sets just look so chic over the top of a bikini. Um, so yeah, I think I'm definitely going to order the shorts from Farfetch as well. Um, and that's one piece of advice I would give when shopping luxury is try and buy as much as you can from the same retailer because that way you're going to be able to build up loyalty points. Um, so in my opinion, Farfetch definitely have the best loyalty scheme. I get like discount codes through all the time. Um, for my birthday, I got one that was like up to, I think it was £175 off, which is crazy. Um, so obviously I took advantage of that. And I think I got like over 20% off, which is so, so good. Um, so yeah, I always look on Farfetch to see if they stock the item that I'm after, which they usually do. And I always order from there to build up my points. Um, so yeah, that is just a little tip for when you are shopping luxury pieces. And then skipping straight from spring into a full blown summer mode very briefly, because I just wanted to quickly show you the other piece I picked up from Farfetch, which is a bikini from Hunza G. Um, I have a little bit of an obsession with Hunza G swimwear. Um, I think I've got four or like five pieces from them now, but they are just my favorite brand in terms of like quality and fit. Um, they are just the most flattering swimsuits. And when I saw this navy high-waisted bikini, I just couldn't say no. Um, I don't have any of their like high-waisted styles, so I just thought this was perfect. And I just love navy so much. Um, I feel like it is just such a chic color. And I feel like this is gonna pair perfectly with like tan accessories and like, my basket bag when I'm on holiday. 
Um, so obviously the bottoms are high waisted and then the top is like a little one shoulder top, which I think is so cute. Um, this is actually an exclusive style to Farfetch. So that is the only place you can shop this one. Um, and you can use my discount code on Hunza G as well. Um, they stock so many different styles from them. So yeah, definitely have a look if you are looking for some really good quality swimwear pieces to add to your collection for summer. So the next look is a classic, but actually quite on trend this year because all black looks for spring summer are very much in. Um, I've gone for this sweetheart neckline top from H&M, which you've probably seen in previous videos. Um, this one is old, so I will leave something similar linked. Um, but then I've paired it with my H&M black linen blend trousers, which are back in stock this year. Um, I rave about these all the time. They are without a doubt one of my favorite styles of trousers. Um, I've got them in I think like five colors. Um, these are the black linen blend ones, which are perfect for like the spring summer season. Um, they are high waisted and like a relaxed straight leg style and um, kind of tapered a little bit. And yeah, just the perfect shape of trouser that is really easy to style. Um, so styling wise, I've gone for tan accessories, of course. Um, I just love the combination of black with the tan. And I feel like adding the tan belt and like the tan shoes, which you will see in the cutaways, just gives it a little bit more of a spring summer feel. Um, but yeah, I think for this time of year, I would just chuck a trench coat over the top of this and you are good to go. Next up, we have a very casual everyday look that I've already worn out a few times on those odd days where we have had slightly milder weather. Um, this is just a very classic outfit combination of jeans, a racer back top and a trench. Um, perfect for spring and yeah just a casual outfit that's very easy to recreate. Um, so my jeans are from Cos. I got these at the start of February and I've worn them so so much. Um, I said in my last haul, but they are such a great fit. Um, they're like a relaxed straight leg, really high waisted. Um, they fit perfectly around the waist and they're also really comfortable as well. Um, I've been loving this slightly darker and also like slightly brighter blue wash. And I found that it goes with so much in my wardrobe. Um, I've just paired it with this gray racer back top from Abercrombie. Um, and then my Cos trench coat, which again, I've been wearing nonstop since I got it. Um, it's just the perfect neutral tone of beige. I love the material because you can really dress it up, but you can wear it more casually like I am now. And yeah, I just think it's like the perfect trench coat. Um, and then accessories wise, I've gone for my Demelia London bag. You'll definitely have seen this in previous videos, but I just think it is the perfect everyday bag. And I'm really loving bigger bags at the minute. So I've been reaching for this so much. Um, and then I've got my Celine belt on and my Prada ballet flats to finish off the look. Next up, we have my interpretation of a really casual running errands look. Um, if you followed me for a while, you'll probably know I'm not really like a joggers kind of girl. Um, I love a loungewear set for around the house, but when I am going out and I want to feel really casual, um, I still go for comfort, but I normally go for like some tailoring or something like that. Um, so these trousers are from Arquette. Um, I actually have these in two other colors. I've got the black and the dark brown, um, but they recently brought them out in beige, which I was so, so happy with because I feel like this is the perfect tone for spring. Um, so they are a really relaxed, kind of like wide leg trouser and they taper in slightly at the bottom. Um, so they go so well with a chunky trainer. Um, right now I've just got them on with my New Balance 530s. Um, they are a little bit too long for me, but I just roll them up once at the bottom and they look absolutely fine. And it kind of makes them like that perfect slouchy length. Um, they also work really well with heels, so they're definitely a versatile pair of trousers um, and gorgeous quality because they are wool. Um, styling wise, I've gone for a t-shirt bodysuit from Abercrombie. Um, this was in my last haul as well, and it's just the most comfortable, double layered, soft fabric. Um, it literally feels like you're wearing like pajamas or something, but it is perfect for casual looks. 
Um, my cardigan is H&M. I've had this a couple of months, I'd say. And honestly, when I say I've worn this a lot, I mean, I've worn it literally nearly every day. Um, I wear it around the house a lot, so it just chucks on over whatever I am wearing. And it's just so comfortable. Um, it's a wool and cashmere blend. So it's really like thick and soft. And I just love a cardigan over the top of a spring outfit. I feel like it is such a handy basic to have. Um, I've popped on my Arquette belt with the trousers um, just because they're a little big around my waist. I feel like this pair might be slightly bigger um, in size than the other ones. I'm not sure, I could be wrong, but they do feel like they are a slightly bigger fit. Um, and then I've gone for my Celine Triumph bag. It's just my ideal everyday bag. Um, and like I said, just my New Balance 530s, which are definitely my favorite trainer style at the minute. So I feel like stripes are such a classic print, which comes back around every single year. But this year in particular, they are everywhere. Um, so this next look is a little bit of a nod to that trend. Um, although I would say it's not really a trend because in my opinion, they are definitely timeless. Um, so I'm wearing a mini skirt from Arquette. Um, this is navy and I absolutely love it. I feel like this is going to be such a good addition to my spring wardrobe. Um, I think it's 100% wool or if not then a wool blend. Um, so really gorgeous quality and it's the perfect mini length not like too many, um, so definitely a comfortable length for me personally. Um, and then the knit is also Arquette. Um, this is 100% cotton, so really lightweight and perfect for spring. And um, it's also got this really nice button detail on the shoulder, which I love. Uh, it's the perfect amount of oversized as well, so you can wear it untucked or like easily tuck it into skirts or like trousers. Um, I also love a striped knit like this just thrown over your shoulders. Um, and then if it gets a little bit chillier in the afternoon, you've got a knit to put on, but it also just looks really chic as well. Um, and then my trench coat is a Massimo Duty. Um, they've recently restocked this one, so it's another great option if you are looking for a classic trench. Um, I really like the slightly darker tone of this one, and it goes with so much. Um, and then my bag is another piece from Arquette, and again, this one is new. Um, I feel like this bag went viral on TikTok, um, and for good reason, because it is such a great everyday bag. Um, it's the perfect size, you've got a crossbody strap as well, um, but the shape is just like very minimal and timeless. And then you've just got this buckle detail to the side, which I really, really like. Um, so yeah, I feel like the tan works really well with the navy and beige tones. Um, and then I've gone for black knee-high boots, which are from Carell Paris. Um, and then just my black Celine belt to break up the look. Um, I feel like this one will be so perfect if you're going away on a city break, um, particularly if you're going to Paris because it's definitely a Parisian inspired look. Um, but otherwise, just if you're going on like a really nice day out, this will be the kind of outfit I would go for. It just feels quite chic and perfect for spring. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one and I feel like this is a very me look. And then I wanted to include another dressier look for those of you who have any occasions or events coming up in spring. Um, I feel like this will be the perfect outfit for like a christening or a baby shower um, or any like family event or potentially even as a spring wedding guest look. Um, it's definitely a little bit more casual with it being a knit dress, but I do think it could definitely work. Um, and I just feel like having a knit dress like this in your wardrobe for spring is just so handy. Um, so this one is brand new in from Pretty Lavish. Um, I've definitely said before, but Pretty Lavish are without a doubt the best place to get knit dresses. Um, I really like the racer back style of this one and the ribbed detailing. Um, and then you'll see better in the cutaways, but it's one of those dresses that is really form fitting and then flows out at the bottom. Um, that's definitely one of my favorite styles for a dress. I just feel like it is so chic and really flattering with that bit that flares out. Um, styling wise, I've kept it feeling super feminine with my Massimo Duty tweed jacket. 
Um, I feel like this looks so pretty worn over the shoulders and I've been getting so much wear out of this piece. Um, and then I've gone for tan accessories because I love the combination of the green with the tan. Um, this is my very impractical but very cute little Palem bag. Um, you can literally fit like a lipstick and a few cards in here, but I just feel like it goes so nicely with this look. Um, and then I've gone for my tan June mules just to tie the tan in with the bag. So I feel like I love spring fashion so much because it's the time when tailoring really comes into its own. There is literally nothing I love more than a blazer and a tailor trousers look, especially when it's in a neutral tone. And I feel like spring is the perfect time of year for those kind of looks. Um, so this one I feel like is again another great smart casual outfit perfect for like if you're going out for lunch or a shopping day but I also think this would definitely work for the office as well um, I've just got on a pair of tailor trousers from Under the Stories these are a really similar style to the H&M linen blend ones I showed you earlier um, but these ones are wool um, so they are gorgeous quality and really lightweight as well um, they also aren't itchy um, and yeah I just really like them and I think they are the perfect versatile style um, and then I've got a t-shirt on from Cos. Um, this is in a really nice like off-white warm toned cream. Um, I'm really glad I picked this one up actually because sometimes I feel like a white t-shirt can just look a little bit too stark with like some tones um, and with like neutrals like this I think this off-white colour works absolutely perfectly. Um, Cos are probably my favourite place to get t-shirts from because they're just such good quality and I really like like this one because it's a slightly softer fabric to my other ones and um, so I feel like it gives it a more dressy feel um, and then my blazer is from Naked Fashion this is one of my favorite blazers in my wardrobe because I just love the shape of it and how it fits um, it's a slightly lighter tone to the trousers but they almost look like a suit when worn together um, and then I've gone for my gorgeous um, bag from The Curated. I feel like this cream tone ties in perfectly with the outfit um, and then again my Celine belt which is just doing the most in this video as always um, and then ballet flats to finish off the look although I think you could definitely swap those for loafers or also trainers if you did want to make it a little bit more casual. So the next look is probably the most trend led because denim maxi skirts are absolutely everywhere at the minute um, and I love them so much. I actually did a reel styling this skirt on Instagram a few days ago so I will pop that into the side somewhere but this one is from All Saints and um, it is sold out now but I found a very similar one from Bershka so I will leave that one linked um, but it's a maxi length in a really nice like light denim wash perfect for spring and I especially like it paired with this green blazer um, this one is from Anina Bing and yeah I just think it's the perfect all year round blazer and um, I wore it so much throughout winter and I'm definitely going to be styling it up for spring because I love it with like lighter denim tones um, again I've just gone for a cos t-shirt this is my white one and then again my Celine belt and um, I've styled this with some knee-high boots for more of a smart casual look um, I actually think I'm going to wear this out today because after I finish filming this video I'm going out for some drinks and um, so I feel like this is perfect with the knee-high boots for like that kind of occasion um, but you could definitely style it with some heels or even with some trainers for a more casual look um, and then my bag is my shoulder bag from Charles and Keith, which again is just the perfect like day to night style. Next up, we've got another really simple and easy to recreate look. Um, again, this is a very casual and one I would just wear day to day. Um, I've got on my Loewe jeans, which are my pride and joy. I love these so much. They're the perfect wash and a really nice cropped length. Um, obviously you don't need Loewe jeans to recreate this look. Any straight leg jeans will do, but I just love them so, so much. So yeah, I can't wait to continue styling them up this spring. 
Um, and then I've gone for a striped t-shirt from Cos. Um, this is a long sleeved one and you'll see in the cutaways, but it has this gorgeous like scooped back detailing. Um, I have a very similar black one from Arquette. So when I saw they had a striped one on Cos, I ordered it straight away. Um, the only thing I would say is that this comes up a little bit big. Um, I went for the extra small and it kind of like scoops down a little bit underneath my armpits. Um, I have seen that Arquette now do a striped one as well though. So I kind of wish I'd waited and got that one instead. Um, although saying that, this is really gorgeous quality and such a soft material too. And I feel like it's a slightly more elevated take on a basic. Um, and then again, I've gone for my Cars trench coat. I don't know why none of my trench coats are sitting right today. So apologies if I keep fidgeting with them. Uh, but yeah, I think this goes perfectly with the look. Um, and then I've gone for my Celine bag and just my Vajas to keep it feeling really casual and comfortable. And then last but not least, we have the classic linen shirt and jeans combo. Um, I feel like this one is more of a late spring look, although you could just chuck a trench coat over the top whilst the weather is a little bit cooler. Um, these cream jeans are the ones I showed you in my last haul from Abercrombie. Um, I love this style so much. They just fit perfectly everywhere and they're also such a great length as well because they work with flat sandals or like heeled mules like I'm wearing now um, or also like chunky trainers or Converse. Um, and then the linen shirt is also Abercrombie. I really like this chocolate brown shade and I feel like this is a really nice addition to my wardrobe. Um, I feel like this darker tone gives it more of a spring feel and I love how it pairs with my tan accessories. Um, again, I've just gone for my tan Arquette bag and then some tan heeled mules from Zara. Um, but yeah, those are all the 10 outfits I had to show you in today's video. Um, I really do hope you found it useful and hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I hope it's given you some inspiration for the season to come. And thank you so much again to Farfetch for sponsoring the first part of this video. Um, don't forget you can use my discount code, which is 10LilyFF for 10% off. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And hopefully I will see you for next week's video. Bye.